Hello, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast, and today we're going to be talking about the Kiliview N1 NDI HX encoder. Now, what makes this different from other NDI HX encoders? For one, you can see that it's already on. This has a battery in it, and it's camera mountable, wireless, and all we have to do to get it to run in this case is to plug in an SDI signal, and we can see that it is now wirelessly transmitting NDI over this wireless connection to our copy of vMix here on the Turbo. And that, of course, applies to any NDI infrastructure, whether it's a TriCaster, Livestream, NDI decoder. Um, any of those things would let you interface this NDI box with those because it's part of the NDI ecosystem. There are also a number of other unique features about this, so let's take a look at it. The N1 is a well-built unit with a metal enclosure and rugged plastic end caps. Uh, it's got attachments for wireless, USB. These can be used for uh, storage, or we can also use these to connect it to Ethernet, which is really handy if you want to have a wired or wireless setup. And on the other side, we have the SDI connector. This is a fan output, which is, uh, as far as I can tell, not operable while the unit is just encoding, but I have heard it kick on during charging. So this is perhaps to keep the lithium battery batteries inside cool. Uh, it's got a power button. It's got a power port. takes a wide range of voltage. And then it looks like it has a button here to start and stop streaming. It also comes with this... Um, mounting uh, plate here which snaps onto the unit so we can just pop the unit in and now it's mounted on top of our camera and all we need to do at this point is attach some of these included Wi-Fi antennas and the SDI and we will have our NDI wireless kit ready to go. Looking at the Kiliview UI, we can see that it does a whole lot more than uh, encode to NDI. If we take a look through the dashboard here, we can see that it's outputting an RTSP stream that we can use for monitoring. It's currently recording to MPEG TS to a USB stick. Um, it can RTMP push to CDNs. It has a substream service. Uh, if we look closely at it, we can also see that it has the ability to control PTZ cameras through a USB to serial converter. Um, it also has a network attached storage function that lets us record some of this to a storage somewhere on the network. And configuring the unit for wireless is pretty easy. We just go into the network manager. And there's two different ways that um, this unit can work wirelessly. If we're using Ethernet, we can actually use the Wi-Fi function to log into it remotely using a browser or um, a tablet application. Or the more traditional application would be to use it as uh, to connect to a Wi-Fi access point as we have it here now. And it's telling me what the signal strength is, what its IP address is, um, and we can go through and configure all of these elements however we like. So that's a few of the different things in the uh, UI uh, that we can take a look at to get a better understanding of what kind of product the N1 is and how it can fit into your workflows. The N1 functions in a variety of different roles. We can use this in different productions, whether it's wired or wireless, whether we're using it to output NDI or RTSP, if we're using it to record. There's a lot of different things that this unit can do that make it a valuable addition to your toolkit. If you have any further questions about the N1, please feel free to reach out to us. And if you like these videos, don't hesitate to like us on YouTube. Thank you.